Hello traders, FS Pipcolenta here. Today is Tuesday, March 28th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I am starting to believe that this right here is the end of a big ABC correction. If that really is the case, then this will end up continuing the downtrend, making lower lows and lower highs, because that's what happens at the end of a wave C, whether we're talking about the one month or the one minute time frame so let's head down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame is where you can actually start to see the lower lows lower highs that make up this whole move down i'm thinking it may end up turning into a wave one but it still could be a wave a this move up right here did go right to a fibonacci level and make it a positive move down probably already ended a in like a wave two or possibly a wave b and if that's the case and that means that we are trending down for either wave c which a wave c would look like that and then turn up and take out strutzer or a wave three, which a wave three would just continue to make lower lows, lower highs. So either way, I think that we are in a downtrend and the downtrend is not even close to being over, whether it's a wave C or whether it's a wave three. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can start to see this downtrend. It, I have it marked as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but it's really like an 11 wave downtrend for either a 1 or an A. This is definitely three waves up right here for either a 2 or a B turned right at the 38%. I think there's a very good likelihood this move down is going to be a trend and it's going to continue to make lower lows, lower highs. But that doesn't mean that there's not going to be some pullbacks along the way, but I actually think pullbacks are very good because at the end of the pullbacks is where I can actually enter again and build a position the whole way down. So let's head down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, really the last structure that we have is way up here. So if this does decide to go up and maybe make an ABC like that with an impulsive move down, then that's definitely going to be my entry to go sort for the continuation of the downtrend. I was actually already thinking that it did end the correction right at the 61.8 and that this move up we're getting is going to make a lower high and it's actually just going to end up continuing down, most likely looking like that. So let's take that right down to the 1 hour time frame. One hour time frame, this definitely looks like three waves to me, like a wave A, three waves down for the B, and this is definitely like one trend for the wave C. Nice big impulsive move down, that looks like the end of a crutzen to me. If that's the end of a crutzen, that means that this move up is going to be a crutzen to this move down, and that it's going to actually bounce off a fib level and most likely just end up continuing the downtrend. So if it does do that, if it makes three waves up, if it bounces off a of fib level, then that's definitely going to be my entry to go sort for the continuation of the downtrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.